Hello, hello, nights and weekends. Now I'm gonna go over some of the prototypes for Green Filter, the sustainability app for everything you buy. And um, this was the first one that I already posted. Um, that was made like three years ago, autumn of 2020, when I first started researching how to make this app. Uh, it's a basic chat. Actually, very similar to how ChatGPT looks like today, you know, with uh, ugly colors. Uh, but the basic idea is you just have this intelligent kind of AI that responds to your questions. Um, maybe that could also be on your watch, you know, you could talk to your watch and get some kind of response in audio or text. And maybe you could have some kind of like a number that is a composite of different uh, different ways to measure sustainability uh, either for this company or product or even maybe for yourself even though like your own score for a single person is not maybe that important as having a score for the company uh, you know the goal i guess would be to have all, all those people using this app to have some kind of measurable, a meaningful impact on those companies for the companies to start investing into sustainability faster and put it more into the center of their uh, roadmap. Some of companies are already doing that, others are dragging their feet, they're slower. So maybe having a very simple way to add some kind of pressure to those companies or support also for the ones that are already doing well. Um, creates a better uh, conversation around this sustainability topic. Uh, this was the second interface that I came up with. Um, the idea is that maybe if you're doing your shopping, you could do it with some friends who are also into sustainability. And um, you have some kind of like a support group. So um, you have other people, not just AI to discuss with. What are your shopping habits? What are your saving habits? What are your investing habits? Um, yeah, so this is uh, kind of a local community app that you could join. Another way to think about it was maybe having uh, something called the true cost. So uh, in the European Union, there are a lot of um, legislation that have set a deadline to 2030. What if you could um, start already today and kind of see everything that goes into what people are supposed to report by 2030, but already report today. So if you took like a bottle of some kind of well-known product, I've chosen like Coca-Cola or a Wella shampoo here. What if next to the price, the sales price, you had the true cost, which would take in all the externalities of you know, the plastic pollution or like the chemical pollution or the social issues, etc., that come with making this product. Yeah, if you just had it translated into uh, euros, dollars, you know, Chinese yuan or whatever currency that is local, that could give you a really uh, uh, simple way to uh, understand what this product is doing and if you should buy this or if you should try to find a different one. And similar to, similarly, like divesting, you know, what if some um, ingredients in that product, like, you know, we know that palm oil is a big um, uh, problem because of uh, deforestation in some countries that uh, are big producers of palm oil. So what if you had some guy know, like a social proof or social pressure for all the people who have um, divested, so to speak, or kind of are avoiding or ignoring uh, products with palm oil uh, to show that um, to other people. So you would have, again, like this community feeling around this. Then another idea was uh, very simple, just if every product that you buy, you could see like the distance it traveled. So, you know, if you're buying, you know, we know that um, bringing something by plane probably is pretty bad. Maybe you came by ship, it's still bad, but less bad. 
in any case, you know, there's a lot of CO2 involved in transportation. So what if you could see that this particular product, uh, what is the distance it has traveled to reach you? So this would also like maybe support like local production. Um, in any case, uh, I would like to see this kind of number. And then another one, another number would be just like based by country. So, you know, all these numbers about uh, pollution levels of each country, they are in databases or even websites, quite, quite easy to use, but what if it just kind of add this profile to the app? So it would be a very really, uh, easy reminder for you. These are some of the ideas. There are others, but I'm running out of time. So I um, just would love to have some feedback from you and I'm going to post a link so you could sign up for some more updates uh, by email and um, yeah, let's keep working on this stuff. Nights and weekends. Uh, let's do it. Bye.